Today we're at McDonald Portal, the Arden course. This is in Cheshire, England. It's a nine hole course. There's four par fours and five par threes. The aim of the day is to sharpen up the approach play. And the opening hole is a nice par three down the hill. That was a great hit. It's on the green, but it dropped and stopped. So it's going to be a long birdie putt, this one. <laughs> so the greens have finally started to soften up. Moving into autumn golf now. But we still have a birdie putt. It's a long one. It's a 40 footer downhill. The ball slides by a long way to the left. Always tough to judge those ones. And we just missed the six footer coming back. And we tap in for a three putt bogey on the opening hole. It's 106, front edge is 99, uh, pins at the front right. So just going to go right at it with a pitching wedge. Hopefully pitch it quite close to the hole. Hole two is a short par three. Really happy the pin was on the right here. Kind of takes the water, uh, water out of play. We get a second green in regulation of the day. Really good, it dropped and stopped, it's just past the flag. I think it's like a 12 footer or 10 footer. And this is the first time I played this course and uh, didn't expect this nice pond water feature. And I was definitely pleasantly surprised for a nine hole kind of practice course. And so it's the second birdie chance of the day, just repairing the pitch mark here. It's an eight footer, downhill a lot. And it lips out, so close to making the birdie on the second hole. And we tap in, and the first part of the day goes on the scorecard. Hole three is a short par four. Good if, quite tight if you draw the ball like me. <laughs> Good if you fade it off the tee. And we clip the tree, but we still go 170 yards and find the fairway. So that was a fortunate break off the tee. Could have gone anywhere when it hit the tree. And hit this pitch from red right on line. It's gone long. But we don't capitalize on the good fortune of Mr. Green long. We still have a birdie putt, a 12 footer. Which is tough to judge. Coming from off the green, kind of the fringe. And we hold the three footer for a great start to the round. Another par. <laughs> Hole fours, the par three is playing uphill slightly. So I'm just smashing the five iron, hoping to get it up there. And we missed the green to the right, but we're pin high. This is 23 paces. I gotta head it to the right. It's gonna come down off the bank. But this green slopes massively from back to front, making this green side pitch tricky. And we don't quite get the landing spot, but look at the ball rolling there, <laughs> just carries on. So we have a par putt, it's a seven footer uphill right to left. And that was a really tricky putt, so I was aiming massively to the right, but it stops close. And we tap in for bogey with no drama on the fourth hole. Hole five is the longest of the par fours at this Arden course. And I don't know why I'm taking the hybrid on this one, I should be using driver. Okay, it's hooked a bit to the left, but I think it's fine. I right, missed the fairway to the left. We have approach to the green, 170 yards, playing downhill a lot this one. That's why I'm using the six iron. And we miss the green, short left. <laughs> it bounced in and out of a bunker. <laughs> and this green looked to have a bit of damage on it. Maybe it was some scrambling motorbikes or something. But we went in the bunker. Just a green side pitch, which is duffed completely. Goes left. And the ball somehow meanders down. Golf's a funny old game indeed. I don't know how I got away with that one. Totally duffed that, that pitch shot. Uh, three and a half foot. 
is right to left a lot actually. We have a tricky three and a half footer, slopey one. It just catches a piece of the hole and a card our third part of the day. Hole six is a short par four that plays uphill slightly. I'm just smashing driver as hard as possible. I'm trying to drive the green actually. Outside chance. And it's just missed the green short, nearly on the green that. It's a good hit. So no eagle putt here for us. It's just a green side pitch. 25 yards to the pin, goes really well. And we have a great birdie chance, a five footer, pretty level. And the ball lips out, we hit the flag and lipped out at the same time. I managed to stand in front of the camera as well, don't know why I did that. But we tap in for one of the most disappointing pars I've made in a long time. Hole 7 to medium length par 3, plays uphill. And we hit the 26 degree hybrid, a total miss hit, skied it off to the right, losing a lot of distance. So we're in scrambling mode now. Greenside pitch at 45 yards, goes okay, thumbs up. Yeah, it's on the green. Got the putt for par. And we have a chance to save par with a 12 footer uphill putt. It just misses to the right, could be more aggressive with that one as it was uphill. Kind of taking a flag out now, <laughs> as you can see after the debacle on the sixth hole. And the car, the bogey, and move on. This is 296, just hitting a smooth driver. Get it down there, about 220, hopefully. Hole 8, a par 4 dog leg to the left, stricken next one, hardest hole on the course. And we missed the fairway to the right. Hey, it's sliced off but it's still in play, it's alright. These short par 4s are really ideal for me as you can hit a bad tee shot and still have a short iron in to the green. And this one's slightly uphill so going with the 9 iron, that's why I chose that club and it's hit right on line. And we just about make it onto the front of the green. Quite a nice hole this one. And we have an 18 footer for a birdie. Let's see if we can make this one. And the ball just misses, just skims by the hole. It was a big swinger. Quite a good effort actually. And we tap in for the easy par on hole eight. Another par. <laughs> and we move on to hole nine, which is a really nice short par three, which is a great hole in one chance too, if you've never had one like me. It says 90 on the GPS, uh, 75 to the front edge. Hitting the sand wedge, just get it. To, it's the pins at the back actually, so just hit a solid shot with a sand wedge. Um, it's downhill quite a lot, so just get it on, get a putt for birdie hopefully. Or a hole in one maybe. It's a great closing hole this one, great view from the tee box and we make a solid connection with the sand wedge and hit the green, thumbs up. Yeah it's on the green, safe as houses, about 25 foot putt coming up for birdie. Strolling down, this water feature is not really in play, only if you top it they come into play and yeah really nice. I actually hit a second ball which is the one on the right couldn't resist at the time as it's kind of like a practice round. And there's our ball with a pitch mark and we have a 28 footer for birdie. And this was a slightly downhill putt but it misses to the left and we have a four and a half footer uphill for par. Just misses to the right, good pace on that one. And we tap in for a disappointing bogey on the final hole for a score of 34, so 4 over. So really good score for me in general. I got a few lucky breaks on this day, but then I three-putted twice as well. So 
You have to take the rough with the smooth. Uh, just disappointed not to make a birdie. Had five chances but didn't make any of them. And this is the layout. It's changed slightly from the golf shot. And this is the actual scorecard on the day. And now, just going to have a relax bit of food. And I'm going to play the back nine. Going to play the holes all again. And the sun's. The weather just got better and better on this day. Perfect for golf and ideal playing conditions. And also the course was playing well too. So we changed the yellow ball, it's the same Strixon soft feel one. And actually we're not going to play all the holes on this back nine, just going to play six of them, my, my favourite holes. We're going to miss out two of the par fours and one of the uphill par threes. That's the plan anyway to keep it interesting for me. Yeah, not too bad actually. We start the back nine with a nice up and down for par, six footer, left to right putt hold at perfect speed. Happy with that one. We're all going in now. <laughs> and we move on to hold two, which is a genuine hole in one chance. I think most people can hit around a hundred yard shot, so nearly everyone has a chance of making a hole in one on this one. And thumbs up, we hit the green. Yeah, that's on the green. It bounced off the right bank. We're getting all the members bounces now. <laughs> we don't make our first hole in one, but we have a birdie chance. It's a 12 footer. And it misses to the right, downhill putt, that's a tough one. Didn't break as much as I thought. And we tap in for the easy par and move on. If I make a, a par on the next hole, I might have to play all nine again. <laughs> Our tee shot on hole three is hit out to the right and hits a tree. Uh, the ball got through the tree somehow, so it's 94 um, into the green. Gonna hit the pitching wedge slightly uphill. Just get it on and get a putt for birdie. So the aim at the start of the day is to sharpen the approach play and uh, this course is really good for that. So many short irons into the greens here. Uh, left, left fringe. We miss the green to the left just slightly. We still have a birdie putt. It's a 15 footer. <laughs> In goals of any old game, it's really tough to judge the contact yeah, from the putter coming off the green. And uh, we have to thank the flag stick there for <laughs> stopping the ball. Hit that one, came out too, much too fast. And we tap in for the easy par. Got a bit of fortune there, have to take the luck when we get it. As you get enough bad luck on the courses. Three pars in a row. <laughs> on this hole four, I made a slightly different swing, kept the left arm more straight. And we missed the green in exactly the same place as the front nine, identical. So we pitch one on, which goes in a similar spot to the front nine. But it's not seven foot, it's a five foot turn now for par. And the ball just misses to the left by a hair's breadth. Couldn't get much closer than that one. <laughs> I'm not going to do all nine now. And we end the run of pars and card a bogey. We move on. Hole eight. Uh, changes the club selection from driver to hybrid. And we hit a really nice draw around the dog leg to the left that finds the fairway. <laughs> so we have the pitch and wedge in hand from the fairway. Happy to have that club in hand. And this angle I had to move the camera because of the shadows. Interesting to see a swing from a different view. And um, we hit a nice shot that hits screen, pin high. Yeah, so I was just playing really well on this day, hitting a lot of greens in regulation. And the back nine seemed to be better than the front nine, just better course management slightly. We have the 10 footed downhill for Birdie that obviously misses and goes a long way by. And I wasn't impressed with that one, I didn't even set up the camera. The five footer. For par, and that one misses. So it'll be three putt for a bogey on hole eight. Not happy with that one. 
Well, let's get a hole in one now. <laughs> First ever hole in one. Just calling it now. Slam dunk. We're on the last hole now. And I've never had a hole in one before, but I think if you talk about it more on the tee box and you have uh, positive uh, intentions, then you can get have more chance of getting one. We had a really good shot. It's not hole in one, but it's an eight footer for birdie. <laughs> So yeah, so I think if you have positive intentions, then really look where the flag is and you end up getting much closer and that's what happened here. Our proximity to hole is much closer here. It's a six footer now for birdie. Brilliant chance. Let's see if we can make this one. And the putt drops. Really happy with that one. We finally make a birdie after missing five chances on the front nine and quite a few on the back nine. Happy days. One end of the round. <laughs> so the back nine score was one over, 21 in six holes. So really happy with the back nine. Played, the course management slightly improved, so I, I dropped a shot or two there. And here's the full round score which is a really good five over for 15 holes played. Uh, there were six birdie chances on the front nine and five on the back nine, and I just played really well. But finally, it was really good to make the, the birdie on the last. And the course, I didn't fancy playing a full 18 hole course on this day, so I just looked and researched, and, and this nine hole course came up, and I thought it'd be good to sharpen up the approach play. But I wasn't expecting the nice features and mature trees, as it's like a practice course, that's what I was expecting. And it was in really good condition, really playable and I was pleasantly surprised. The view from the car park is really good, it's off this hole and you're just looking at it, getting out of your car and it's uh, yeah, it's just really good, can't wait to get on the course when you get there. And maybe it's like I scored really well, uh, I thought the course was good, if I had a bad score maybe I wouldn't look back and think it's such a good course but uh, it's, it's great for sharpening up the game. Kind of like playing off the reds on a normal course, like it's just nice to have the short iron in hand going into the green and here's the bridge i thought i'd show this you have to drive to get to the course very unique uh, feature it's like a big dipper going over that so if you've never made a hole in one before then this course has two genuine really good chances to get a hold of everyone can hit a 90 and 100 yard shot so um, play this course go around twice they have four genuine chances of getting a hole in one. I didn't get one on this day, but hopefully I'll get one next time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy playing and making it. And see you on the next one. Signing off.